promises that they were making at WWDC. Is generative AI enough of a demand generation driver for Apple in the next inflection? I, I don't think the street has really understands how big of an upgrade wave is coming. That numbers get thrown out there, but I want to make it very easy for investors. Have you seen this yet? That new glow of mm -hmm. Siri? That's what it looks like when you activate it once you have Apple intelligence. See that glow around the edge of the screen? When you think of Apple, you think of innovation. The iPhone changed how we interact with the world. The Mac brought computing to everyone. Now, what's Apple's next giant leap forward? Artificial intelligence, and it's going to be bigger than anyone expects. There's been a lot of skepticism surrounding Apple lately, especially with the release of the iPhone 16. Some analysts are predicting that this launch won't move the needle for Apple's stock. They think the market is saturated, that consumers won't rush out to upgrade their devices. And it's easy to understand why they're pessimistic. After all, this isn't the first iPhone launch. And people are starting to expect incremental updates rather than revolutionary changes. But if you dig a little deeper, you'll find there's a whole lot more going on with Apple's iPhone 16 than meets the eye. And Gene Munster, a renowned tech analyst and the managing partner from Deepwater Asset Management, is one of the few who isn't buying into the pessimism. Apple intelligence, no one really has. But what I've seen and understand about what they can do, I think it's going to create a wave of a couple year of upgrades. And so okay. ultimately, I still believe in this company. With an extensive track record of accurately predicting key technological shifts and their impacts on financial performance, he believes that Apple's AI is the secret weapon that could redefine the company's future. But first, let's talk about what makes the iPhone 16 stand out. And that would be Apple's new advanced AI features. At the core of this AI revolution are the A18 and A18 Pro chips, which power an array of features integrated into the device's ecosystem, taking personalization and productivity to new heights. At Apple's WWDC 2024, they unveiled a range of advanced AI features, collectively known as Apple Intelligence. These capabilities are deeply integrated into the iOS ecosystem, enhancing the functionality of devices like iPhones, iPads and Macs. Users will experience these improvements across apps such as Messages, Mail, Calendar, etc. As part of its broader AI strategy, Apple announced a partnership with OpenAI, the Microsoft-backed company behind ChatGPT, to bring ChatGPT capabilities into iOS 18, iPadOS 18, and macOS 15 Sequoia. This collaboration marks a significant move to leverage AI across Apple's operating systems. Apple Intelligence is a personal assistant that's smarter, more intuitive, and more integrated than any AI we've seen before. It draws from on-device data to learn how you use your iPhone, then uses that information to help you write emails, summarize notifications, and even clean up your photos. The secret source, on-device processing. Unlike other tech companies that rely on cloud computing for AI, Apple's AI runs on the device itself, giving it lightning fast speed and unparalleled privacy protection. Privacy is Apple's calling card in this area. With features like private cloud compute, users can access more advanced AI services without compromising their data security. This addresses a major concern in today's tech world. People want AI, but they want to feel safe using it. And that's exactly what Apple is making sure of. These AI improvements aren't just about making small day-to-day -day tasks easier. The iPhone 16's AI capabilities enable features that will likely be integrated into Apple's future products, including the Apple Vision Pro, setting the stage for a much broader ecosystem of devices and services. That said, despite these technological strides, Apple's stock saw a dip following the 2024 Worldwide Developers Conference, or Bloody WDC event, which is a scheduled affair that happens every year, releasing new products through presentations about future endeavors. Historically, Apple's stock performance has often fluctuated after WWDC announcements, with the company's shares frequently experiencing drops rather than gains on each of the event days, as seen over the past decade. This pattern underscores that while product innovations may capture attention, market reactions to these events don't always follow suit. 
The launch of the iPhone 16 is projected to bring in significant sales for Apple, potentially contributing to a record revenue of $400 billion in 2024. Analysts suggest that Apple's enhanced focus on AI within the iPhone 16 could drive a golden upgrade cycle, enticing users who haven't upgraded in several years, primarily as AI features become more prominent in consumer devices. In fact, Apple has around 2.2 billion active devices, with roughly 1.5 billion being iPhones. And many users are expected to jump on this upgrade cycle. Not only that, but analysts have projected that Apple's market capitalization could reach $4 trillion as a result of this strong cycle. This is partially because Apple is also expanding monetization opportunities through AI. For example, if Apple introduces a $10 slash month AI subscription to just 20% of its active users, it could bring in about $33 billion annually, with high margin revenue contributing substantially to Apple's operating income. Coupled with the anticipated iPhone sales, these factors could together result in a substantial boost to Apple's overall valuation and share price. In 2023, its reported operating income was around $120 billion. Now, we're looking at a potential $400 billion increase. Although the $550 billion increase may seem ambitious, it's no secret that Apple's got a golden track record of exceeding expectations. The potential success of the iPhone 16 and the adoption of AI features not only show strong revenue prospects, but also reinforce Apple's strategic ability to innovate and adapt to market demands. So, while $550 billion may be on the high end, the combination of subscription growth and hardware sales puts Apple in a strong position to reach new financial heights. But how does the integration of AI impact Apple's stock? Most analysts see AI as just another feature, but Gene Munster has a different take. After the event, Munster shared his observations on platforms like X, formerly Twitter, and YouTube, highlighting key pressure points. He suggested that the new AI features could potentially prompt Apple's users to upgrade their hardware more frequently, which may help the company surpass estimates in the coming years. He emphasized that these new AI capabilities would only be compatible with devices like the iPhone 15 Pro or later, and Mac and iPad models featuring the M1 chip or newer. This means around 85% of existing devices wouldn't support the new AI functionalities, posing a challenge challenge as to whether these features would be compelling enough to drive significant hardware upgrades among users. He argues that AI is not just an incremental update, it's a foundational shift that will have a massive impact on Apple's bottom line. Why, you ask? AI is becoming the backbone of every major tech company, but Apple's approach stands out. The iPhone 16's AI improvements aren't just flashy add-ons, they're deeply integrated into the device's ecosystem. Apple Intelligence is built for personalization, which means it will create a deeper connection between users and their devices. In turn, that could lead to higher customer retention rates, stronger ecosystem lock-in, and ultimately more revenue. When we look at how Apple's stock has performed lately, it's clear that there's been some volatility. With market uncertainty around tech stocks in general, some believe Apple's growth is plateauing. But Apple has a history of proving the doubters wrong. For instance, their strong earnings in the past quarters, coupled with product launches like the Vision Pro, indicate that Apple's AI-driven product ecosystem has room for expansion. But let's not forget the bigger picture. AI isn't just a feature, it's the next growth engine for the company. Just like the App Store, the iPhone, and services like Apple Music and iCloud were key to Apple's growth in the last decade, AI could be the catalyst for the next era. As Apple continues to build AI into more of its products, this could drive higher revenue from both hardware and services. According to Gene Munster, Apple's recent launch wasn't necessarily about jaw-dropping new features, but about laying the groundwork for long-term success. Munster believes their integration into Apple's devices will deliver a more tailored AI experience. He predicts that this could result in an upgrade cycle that exceeds expectations over the coming years. Munster also emphasized that Apple's focus on creating user-friendly technology will play a crucial role in generating excitement for the new devices. He noted, 
I believe this will be a moment where people become eager to get their hands on these devices. He calls the updates to AI incremental. But don't let that word fool you. It's these small steps that could make the beam a most significant difference. Apple's AI improvements might not grab headlines in the same way a brand new product might, but they're part of a broader strategy that involves continuous, sustainable growth. Apple is positioning itself to be a leader in AI, while keeping its core value of privacy intact. And in an age where data security is a growing concern, this is a huge differentiator. Munster's point is clear. While the iPhone the 16th of May seemed like just another iPhone launch, it's actually a key piece of Apple's long-term AI strategy. Every update Apple makes to its AI system is another step toward embedding AI deeper into its ecosystem, making its products more essential and more challenging to leave behind. Let's take a step back and look at where all of this is going. Apple's AI advancements aren't just about the iPhone 16. They're part of a much bigger plan to integrate AI across all of Apple's devices, like in the Apple Vision Pro, Apple's last breakthrough device, where AI played a massive role in how users interact with it. The iPhone 16's AI capabilities give us a preview of what's to come. For example, the personalized photo tools in the iPhone 16, like the ability to clean up images and videos, could be scaled up for augmented reality on the Vision. Pro. In fact, AI could be the key to making devices like the Vision Pro truly indispensable. When AI is able to understand your preferences and habits, it can create a seamless experience across your iPhone, iPad, Mac and Vision Pro. Imagine walking into your home and all of your devices are in sync. Your AI knows exactly what you need, whether it's adjusting the lights, sending a message or showing you your next appointment in augmented reality. This is the future Apple is building and it's closer than you think. To wrap things up, Apple's AI is not just another feature, it's a game changer. The iPhone 16's AI advancements are more than incremental updates. They're the beginning of a new era for Apple. With personalized AI capabilities, privacy-first designs, and seamless integration across devices, Apple is laying the foundation for the next wave of innovation. And for investors, this means Apple isn't just keeping pace with the competition, it's setting the stage for massive growth. So while some analysts might be pessimistic, the smart money is on Apple's AI pushing its stock higher than anyone expects. Make sure you keep an eye on how Apple continues to innovate, not just with iPhones, but across its entire ecosystem, including the Vision Pro and beyond. What are your thoughts on Apple's integration of AI in its newest iPhone? And what do you think the implications would be for Apple's future? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button to see more content, and we'll see you in the next video.